All right, here's our timer. Let's go. This is going to be the average player. And we're going to come to a cutscene now, so let's mute the mic. Some heroes are born possessing natural gifts that lift them above the ordinary. Some heroes are made. Their strength is the result of hardship and toil. Some heroes live for adventure, confronting terrible dangers in pursuit of riches and fame. While others fight to protect those who cannot defend themselves. But some heroes have more unlikely origins. This is the story of one such hero. This is your story. All right, this is the story of the average RuneScape player. Now, a few weeks ago, uh, I can't remember exactly when, I'll link the news post in the description. Uh, I have the link. I just can't be bothered to open it right now. But Jagex made a news post on RuneScape.com stating what the average RuneScape player looked like. Uh, it included the total level, like there was an age chart, graph, uh, yeah, and basically it said that during the weekdays, the average RuneScape player plays about two hours a day, uh, with only an additional 32 minutes during the weekends. Now, even though I'm starting this on a weekend, I'm going to pretend like day one is Monday, so every day I play is only going to be for two hours. I'm going to play once, one episode a day. Uh, maybe I'll miss a day here or there, but I'm still going to keep track of the days as if this episode right here is a Monday. Now, now you might hear the audio cut out sometimes. Uh, it's probably me muting my mic either by accident or on purpose because my dog is being extra loud. She's not exactly quiet, and right now I have her uh, quartered off in the other room. So I'd like to talk a little bit about the process of, I guess, my my plan. I don't really have a plan. Uh, I have a basic idea of what I want to do with this account. I mean, I want I want to level it up pretty flat. I want to say pretty rounded, flat. However you want to interpret that as. I I want to before I have any 99s. I want to have, you know, all 80s at least. I guess. Uh, I would say 90s, but 90s takes a lot more effort and time, and I'll probably have some 99s by then, unless I decide to dedicate myself to um, getting a max cape spam, which, I mean, I'm not even maxed on my main account right now, so that's probably uh, not going to be the overall goal for this account, especially not in playing only two hours a day. So. In day one, I mean, I didn't get much done today, uh, you'll see that, but I, I pretty much went through the uh, the tutorial, so here I'm doing the blood pact, and this chick, Xenia, Xenia, whatever you want to pronounce her name, dies with a hit of a one. What? Need, need some life point boosting armor over there. Now, this guy right here, Kale, I, I didn't want to kill him. He's a nice guy. He gave me his bow. I mean, come on. Why, why would I want to kill the guy? And, and this chick over here, Caitlyn, I mean, she's only level 2. And, and she, she's, you know, she's got the same name as my sister. So, I don't want to kill her either. So I let them go. I mean, come on. I'm a nice guy. And over, yeah, I, I don't know how to open doors. You know? This guy, though. This guy, right here. Scarred his face on purpose according to his examine text. It says right there, it looks like he scarred his face deliberately. That's... That's a little creepy. So I killed him. For being creepy. <laughs> uh, 25 minutes. And I have gotten 
nothing done. I mean, okay, so, so here you, you'll see that I'm cutting the clips hard. Uh, that's because when I took the two-hour tape and I started editing it on Camtasia, I could only um, speed up the clip to a maximum of 400%, and it was still like a I think it was like a 40 minute video, something around there, so I definitely had to cut some parts. Uh, even then, it's like, now it's like 21, 22 minutes, something like that. It's ridiculous. Also, this is the first time I'm doing this quest, uh, after they reworked it, I've never fell there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't done this on my main account, even, actually. Uh, or the Shadow over Ashdale, whatever that is that I'm going to end up doing in a little bit. So this was all new to me at the time of recording, and I I mean, it was, it's easier, I guess. I didn't have to collect 25 bones to get some keys, so that's a plus. But if you see me kind of, like, looking stupid, well, I look stupid a lot when I'm playing RuneScape. But yeah, I, I do some stupid things in this quest. Uh, like falling down the big hole. That's not a good thing to do there. Sorry, dog, you know, being loud. Heat's coming up because it's cold for some reason today, even though it's springtime. Just open Cantage up right there. Oh yeah, I took a little break because I had a phone call. I forgot about that. I mean, you know, we're we're on our way now to go kill Delrith. Yeah, Delrith, who's being summoned by Denoth, bank or stuff. Just in case I die, well, I wasn't exactly confident in my uh, my combat ability here because I remember Delrith being, I think, like level 27 uh, pre EOC. I haven't done this quest since pre EOC, so I don't know why I banked my bow. I kind of regretted it later because I wanted to use it in the Shadow over Ashdale because I, I wanted to, I want to get range up uh, instead of the melee stats. I want range to go first. Uh, maybe melee and mage can be evened out. I don't know, whatever. Well, that guy got downed. <laughs> so I didn't know what this, uh, this blue orb was. I thought the blue orb was his attack. So I'm running out of the orb uh, when he when he does prepare to incinerate, and I get wrecked there. I don't know if you could see how close I was to dying, but I don't know if he's even able to kill you. But if he could, if he can, I was very, very close to dying. Uh, got my Pathfinder trousers, get my range level up, so I think about oh, five. Yeah, I didn't didn't get very far today. Now it's seven. I don't okay. Not sure how. I guess I used all the uh, the experience lamps on range. So and, and here I'm gonna start doing my daily challenges, which don't get me spins because they're not real daily challenges. So they're they're all basics, you know, basic challenge: combat, mining, fishing, wood cutting, and and prayer. I'm stupid. They were already on daily, and I go and <laughs> search for daily. So these clips aren't sped up because I'm not sure. I guess I just didn't want to speed it up. My dog's making all sorts of noise about five feet away from me. So yeah, one cow, straighten into cow number two, three cow, four cow, and five cow. So the five cow daily challenge is done, and we're gonna go do our prayer daily challenge now. Boom! One, two, three, whatever the fuck five. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go fishy, fishy, fishy now. Some crazy fishy, fishy, fishy. That first tree took me literally like 60 seconds to cut. I don't remember woodcutting being this slow. Probably because I started with an iron hatchet. Yeah. Braun. 
untouch it. I also didn't know that you start with all these tools in your tool belt, so I ended up buying a crayfish cage and then not needing it and selling it back for six coins. So that was some wasted GP. I mean, it's not gonna, it's, in the overall aspect of things, it's not that much GP. It's like, what, 24 GP? Something like that. It, yeah, it's not gonna matter. Oh, yeah, the mining challenge. Right, so I didn't read the challenge because I'm retarded. And I thought it was just mine, you know, three ore. But no, it was mine three copper ore. And even though I mined two tin, it still marked it off on the daily challenge as complete. So I had to run back and mine two copper and then hand it in. And how did I get a monkfish? One single monkfish from doing a free to play daily challenge. Thank you, Jagex. The amount of times that, hey, you, buy membership popped up on me within the first two hours of me playing almost made me never want to buy membership on this account. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy membership. I'm going to pay through play with bonds. That, that's just how this one's going to work. Uh, so, and when I do eventually get a bond, get some membership on here. I also plan to start a series like this for old school RuneScape on the same account. Two hours a day, average player. You know, I mean, you know, for me that would make it four hours a day, but it's not that much more. So I'm picking up some GP, killing some sewer rats, getting some uh, some foods, some bones. Bones are bank, yo. I don't I don't know if you guys know, but bones are like 330 GP each. Like I used to kill cows for 100 GP cow hides, maybe 200. But the bones are more than that. Like if you're killing cows for for some some cash right now, as a low player, pick up the bones, bank the bones. The bones are worth money, and people buy the bones. It's not like they don't sell. Pe people buy them. Just a little little tip right there, I guess if you want to say. So I'm through the sewers, kill the Cressian scouts. I'm not exactly sure what the word Cressian means. I might look that up. Crassian, not Cressian, Crassian. Uh, increase my vocabulary a little bit. Maybe it's a word Jagex made up. Maybe it's it's not. I'm probably sounding stupid if anybody knows the word and it's not made up by Jagex. <laughs> but uh, this, I mean, these quests aren't very hard. They're open IRC there for a second. <laughs> they're just they're long. They're very long for tutorial quests. This guy's dead. So I'm gonna read his journal. I'm I'm actually reading it in, in the game too. Like I don't know why and then I decided to skip the other pages. I still haven't read it. But I haven't done this quest on my main account yet, so I'll go through all the lore on that account instead of this one and waste some time. This has to be the easiest puzzle I've ever experienced in my life. And I still managed to fuck it up. <laughs> I'm just like running around like, I don't know, what do I do here? What? Oh, you gotta turn the levers to make the water move. I don't understand how that works, but it works. So I'm not sure if the people who are being stored in the pods from Ashdale are turning in to these Crassian scouts because um, as you saw when I examined it, it said it's part of the reproductive system, something like that, was it? Yeah, like the reproductive system. That's creepy. They're storing people in these pods. Yeah, I got wrecked. I died. I thought I was going to fight that guy, but no, that's how you kill him. <laughs> I ca on my main account, I'm probably going to run in front of it, see, just to see him hit like 9k. Take a screenshot of that. Tell people how overpowered Jagex's NPCs are. I'm joking, I'm not going to do that. I mean, I died again. 
So two hours in the gameplay, not even an hour and nine minutes, and I'm dead twice. Great. Get some treasure, some coins, and some, some sapphires, which are worth like, I don't know, not all that much, but I have no money, so. What's there? I almost died there. I don't know if you saw it, but the uh, the Crassian fighter is it called? Uh, saw me and was about to shoot his little thing off and <laughs> as I pulled the lever so he died I thought I was going to die afterwards like oh he'd already shot it and then it's gonna hit me and then I'm gonna die but I guess it doesn't work like a normal attack I guess it's just like an initiation to a cutscene this was like this is an interesting boss fight actually I'd imagine it'd be fun at a higher level cause everything in this quest is scaled to level so since I'm like level 15 here, it's not exactly a difficult fight. I mean, it's long, but it's not difficult. And it, it like this, this HPUR reminds me of QBD. I don't know if anything else has this HPUR. Um, I actually only recently got a new computer that doesn't lag to death. So beforehand, I couldn't even do QBD on my main account to save my life because I lagged out in like phase two just done like there's there's no way to do it I mean he's got some special attacks his claws hurt I get hit by it there I didn't know what it was and then I realized you know the the black dots is where it's gonna fall so that's that's pretty cool it's a giant squid reminds me of blooper from Mario I'll probably be doing like a Mario playthrough soon too actually but with those play playthroughs, I'll do live commentary. Actually, on this series, I might decide to do some live commentary as I'm playing, just so I don't have to waste a bunch of time doing this, you know, recording, speeding it up, and then having to watch it as I talk, because that's not fun. It's kind of it's kind of boring. I I'm I'm much more of an interesting, talkative person when I'm just rambling on about nonsense while I'm playing RuneScape. Uh, I did have like a Pokemon playthrough a while back. Some people watched that. Jared watched that. Jared is going to be my uh, my number one subscriber. <laughs> um, I cut the dungeon here because, uh, as you can see, I died four times. I'm used to being able to rush through it. No food. Chop chop being done didn't realize how hard I would die without the food. So I ended up getting the food for the boss fight, which is very, very long boss fight. I mean, Icy Bones, again, he's only level 12. I'm a higher combat than him, but he's got like, what is that, 3k life points at least. It's, it got pretty annoying, like, playing it. It's very, I want to say arduous, it just, I didn't like it, it it's not fun, so in, in the next episode I'm probably not going to end up dungeoning, I'll probably get my range up a little bit, maybe defense too, maybe not defense, I don't know, like I, I'll probably get my range up, get a little bit more DPS, uh, I might do some group dungeoning. I guess in whatever the dungeon free to play world is, I would say 77, but that's a pay to play world. And that might be the 100 plus world even. The 117 is the uh the pay to play low leveled world, yeah. I mean, once I get pay to play, I'll, I'll definitely be dungeon a lot more. Because free to play binds, I mean, they suck for one. It only goes up to fractite for melee uh, fractite arrows I don't know what the uh, the wood is the tier 5 wood but it's not good <laughs> 9 range got a book a mysterious chronicle level 2 dungeon there but yeah, I mean yeah free to play is not exactly good I was so close to killing him there but he killed me what is that what is that I couldn't get lucky uh, I keep getting distracted uh, the video is almost over but yeah I'm just gonna leave the dungeon and do my spins cause it's two hours just hit so here's my spins I'm not gonna talk about them you know what they are you can see what they are I mean whatever
but uh, yeah, I'll probably dunge in the free to play world and then eventually get paid to play. I'm not going to be doing too much dunge as a free to play member. Probably not a lot more at all. Uh, but yeah, so the next episode, uh, I'll, I'll figure out what I'm doing. I still don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I might just wing it. Pray to God that uh, I do some good. Alright, so I will see you guys, or just Jared, in the next episode.